Okay, so first of all, I'm going to create a new column called Y values. And in this column, the numbers will start at one at the bottom and then increase going towards the top. Then select the 2015 and the Y values and go to insert and insert a scatter chart. Because I want the data to be plotted in the order that it appears in the table, and because the Y axes will reverse the order of the data, I need the Y values to be in descending order, going from biggest to smallest. Then select the chart and right click and select data. And then select the series and edit. And change the series name to 2015 and OK. Then add a new series and the series name will be 1995 and the X values will be these values here and the Y values will be these values here and OK and OK again. Then delete the vertical grid lines and then double click on the Y axis. And I want to get rid of the gaps at the top and the bottom, so I'll change the axis minimum to 0.5. And this automatically changes the axis maximum to 8.5. And it also puts the horizontal grid lines in between the data points. Then I want to have lines connecting the dots together. So I'll create a new column called lines and the length of the lines will be the difference between the 1995 and the 2015 values. So I'll do this cell minus this cell and enter and then double click and send it down. Then select the orange dots and add in error bars. Then delete the vertical error bars and select the horizontal error bars and change the direction to plus as I only want the error bars going in one direction. And I don't want the error bars to have a cap at the end. And then go to error amount and custom and specify value. Then for the positive error values, they will be the numbers that I just calculated here and OK. And now there are lines connecting the dots together. I also want to have labels showing the names of all of the countries. And I'm going to do this by creating a fake series and then adding data labels to it. As I want all of the country names to be on the left hand side, they all need to have the same X value and that value is going to be zero. So I'll create a new column here called labels and then all of these numbers will be zero. Then select the graph and right click and select data and add in a new series and the name will be labels, the X values will be all of the zeros and then the Y values will be these numbers here and OK and OK again. Then select the grey dots and add in data labels. I will drag the plot area in a little bit to create more space. Then select the data labels and go to label options and remove the leader lines and the Y values. Then select value from cells and select the names of the countries and OK. Then move the labels to the left hand side. I no longer need the grey dots, so I will select those and go to marker options and change them to none. And I also don't need the numbers from the actual axes anymore, so I will also go to labels here and change the position to none. Then the rest of this is just formatting. So I'll add in a chart title and a legend and move the legend to the top, then adjust the plot area and change the chart title to this title here. And then I don't need the labels in the legend, so I'll delete that. 
and then adjust the font size. And then change the color of the dots. So for the 1995 dots, I will give these a light purple border and increase their width slightly. Then change the fill to white. Then for the 2015 values, I will also give these a purple border and increase their width by the same amount. And then change the fill to purple and then select the error bars and change these to purple as well and make them a bit thicker. Then select the plot area and give it a grey border. And then I don't need all of the extra decimal places on the Y axis, so I'll go to number and change the decimal places to zero. And then finally, I want to change the order of the legend. So I'll select the chart and right click and select data. And then move the 1995 series above the 2015 one and OK. And now you'll see the order of the legend has changed. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a dot plot in Excel. And that is everything.